Hi guys, hard labor day is finished and now it's time while well, my family allowed me to be here and to take my experiments instead of being with them uh, to have some tests. How do I see my gun of a dream? It's a, an air gun that can shoot with brilliant accuracy with pellets and with slugs. To tell the truth I understand that it's almost impossible because slugs and pellets usually uh, need different barrels. So I decided to go to my turner and to leave my best slug barrel for this red wolf. My, pl my plan was to go to the competitions and to shoot with this barrel with GSB Monster Redesign pellets that are the best for me. To shoot, to shoot speed silhouette with uh, GSB 18 grain, Jumbo Heavy. They are very well at high speeds from this barrel. And then to change the barrel, uh, thanks to the construction of this air gun, we have to unfix just two screws and to put this barrel, the very best barrel of mine for slugs. It is 60 centimeters barrel, but the situation was that I've changed the barrel, put that one in my air gun and tried to get enough power. This barrel is shorter than this one. This one is 70 centimeters and this one is 60. So it's four inches shorter. And the long barrel gave me 270 meters per second with 40 grain slugs. It's enough power, enough velocity and they're good at this velocity. But due to the shortness, so to say, of that barrel, I couldn't reach enough velocity with uh, heavy slugs. So I had to change my plan, I had to uh, reprogram the high power level of this air gun to shoot H and N 30 grain slugs. But my bullet entrance or pellet entrance doesn't matter. I've made it for heavy slugs, so it's rather deep. And it's too deep for light slugs. So I've made some tests and uh, they were not good, so I won't waste your time watching this situation. I think that my story is quite enough for that. Now I have an idea to try to shoot GSB knockouts in 25 grain weight at middle power setup in which I shoot my GSB Monster Ray designs and in high power level to shoot H&N slugs 30 grain ones. They both are 0.217 caliber. My idea was to uh, change, the change the barrels during my shooting as I've said before. Unfortunately this won't work as I wanted it to. Now let's take a short test. Shoot this one and then this one and see what will happen. We'll shoot to 100 meters distance and it's 110 yards distance and I'll tell you the speed because I'll use my laboratory. I think it will be interesting. Uh, let's go and shoot. As you can see unfortunately this experiment didn't have any success. I've tried to shoot those slugs at high speed level, at medium speed level, at low speed level. Of course I speak about setting up and energy settings but I didn't get any good accuracy so I stopped this question and this experiment for myself I know that this barrel isn't good for shooting slugs although other almost the same barrels uh, work good with light slugs all right I won't waste your time let's go to the next air gun to Gorilla air gun to check its accuracy with slugs
Well guys, I'm sure you don't know this air gun, it's Russian air gun, unfortunately this project is closed. It's Gorilla, the first smart gun. It allows you to shoot in 10 different uh, power settings. It has electronic regulator that allow you to put the pressure from 90, uh, from 70 to 250 bar without any problems. And it can shoot slugs, it can shoot pellets, whichever, whichever you want. Now, I've installed my good slug barrel here and as you can see the accuracy is not bad. If you are interested about the story of this uh, air gun, you can find it on Air Gun Nation. It's a sad story, so to say, especially for me. <laughs> anyway, I have one air gun, one gorilla, and it should shoot, and it must shoot well. Very well, it was 40 grain heavy slugs in 22 caliber. Uh, let's try to change the settings. I don't remember, I didn't use this air gun for a very long time. Do something light, probably for 30 grain slugs. Its magazine allows you to load 26 slugs or pellets in 22 caliber. It can shoot in full auto mode, in semi auto mode, in single load mode. And there is single load tray for it, but now I want to shoot with uh, this magazine. I've got to put the air pressure after regulator down. Well, we can see some flyers, I think that uh, it can be caused just by not cleaned barrel. I don't remember when I cleaned it for the last time, but it's very good. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, this is my custom build air gun for shooting heavy slugs in 22 caliber. It's non-regulated, it has 750 cubic centimeters air tank. Uh, Sigmet digital gouge is installed here. It's very useful when you're shooting non-regulated air guns because you have to know your limits and not to go over them. I've installed my Cytron scope here with magnification from 10 to 50. And I have several experimental slugs from my friend, he asked me to test them. Those are 40 grain slugs. This is a very powerful air gun, it can shoot 40 grains up to 300 meters per second, but I don't know, I don't need these speeds. We'll shoot at 280 meters per second close to it.
Wow, just one player. And uh, if to take into account, let's make 11th shot to eliminate that flyer. Great, 10 shots, sub away, 110 yards distance. The speed is almost 290 meters per second, very well. Let's try the second one. The same conditions, we shoot from 225 bar. Well, <laughs> that's really cool, just perfect result. All right, we have three flyers, but I've mentioned that appeared when the speed gone a bit lower, uh, 285, 286 meters per second. I think that these slugs number two are very, very good and I need to get some rest and to continue next time because it's already getting dark and i've had a hard labor day and my as i'm lawyer i work with computer so the whole day i've just uh, stared into the display of my computer and now my eyes are a bit of tired so let's have a break and continue next time those were the experimental tests of different air guns I don't know if it's interesting for you or not but it's my personal journal where I video record everything I do and it will help me in the future let's make a bit conclusion these projectiles likes 285 290 meters per second velocities they're good the barrel must be very well cleaned before shooting them and they give very good accuracy but sometimes i've got several flyers i'm not sure what is the reason of those flyers from one point of view it can be projectiles specifics of their shape from the other point of view i'm not absolutely sure that setup of this gun is perfect now but during my previous tests uh, this gun showed stable sub moa result with 60 shots 
but it had specifics that every 11 shots it had one flyer <laughs> I don't know what to say to tell you the truth uh, I'll try to analyze it a bit later thanks for watching bye guys